bus stop demolished by a pickup truck on a busy street. It sat in shambles for more than a week. And somehow, no one with the city knew it needed to be cleaned up. News 13's Rebecca Atkins asked how this could happen. She's live from Comanche in Eubank. Rebecca. Well, Kim, after we made calls this morning, crews came out to clean up the mess. They've even since put back up the bus stop sign that was lying on the ground. But before that, lots of city workers drove right by the problem and never reported it. Shattered glass and car parts scattered about. Mixed in with all that debris sits a destroyed bus stop at the intersection of Eubank and Comanche. The city should like do something about it, like they should pick it up instead of just leaving it and maybe repair it. Witnesses say a week ago Sunday at around 10 in the morning, two vehicles were in a bad wreck and plowed into the bus stop. These are pictures from the crash. But although police and fire were on scene, no one called ABQ Ride to send out a cleanup crew. Even today, we saw city garbage trucks drive right by it. A spokesperson for ABQ Ride says no one with the city called it in for eight days, and they didn't know about it until News 13 made the call. It's pretty disrespectful because the people who have to take the bus, they're just standing around. Not only is the bench in ruins and the bus stop sign laying in shrubs outside this gas station, but the metal screw to the bench and base of the bus stop sign are sticking right up out of the sidewalk. Yeah, that could be dangerous. If you trip on that, it could hurt yourself or her others. Last May, we reported on the bus stop at Wyoming and Osuna, which was also taken out by a crash. Someone reported they had tripped on the metal base of that bus sign that was sticking out of the sidewalk to 311. But until we called, no one had removed it. It just looks bad on the city of Albuquerque. ABQ Ride isn't free from blame with this latest cleanup oversight. The department says a bus passes the stop twice in the mornings on weekdays. That's 12 times since the accident happened, and still no one reported the mess. And we spoke with nearby businesses that say they didn't report the bench because they assumed that the city was aware of the damage since city crews were out here at that accident eight days ago. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, ABQ Ride says there is no policy that requires city workers to report problems like this. The sign and the bench will be replaced soon. A 16-year-old